Howdy, folks. Uh, Scooby Steve here again. A uh, little update from last episode. One, my Facebook profile was deactivated. Two, I lost my energy bill. So it's a great irony that I was deciding not to pay it. So now I might not have paid it. But I don't know that. I'll get to that later. Anyway, my heat and light and things of that such are still on and functioning and the CCR is blasting. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's obviously not why we're here. We're here to have some kick-ass times and some sweet-ass rhymes. But before all that, uh, we need to go over a few ground rules that I've been doing. Number one, my Facebook profile is deactivated because I'm such a ladies' man. I was just too popular and I was overloading systems. False. That's wrong. That's not why it was deactivated. It was deactivated because I had a fake name. <laughs> I laughed too. Fake name, fake shmame name. Anyway, I was sending Facebook a question I had about their questioning questions. And apparently they decided to deactivate my Facebook account. But it really doesn't matter because I, I pulled some strings and I got it back. So that problem's over. But my energy bill, that's the whole nother game. Um, I don't know where it is. I don't know. No, oh, I do know where it is. Kind of. One of my TAs said they found it in one of my classrooms. Because, see, rewind. One of the things that happened to my energy bill, supposedly, is I went to... Well, I went to class with the intention of dropping it off at the mailbox. And you say I ran into a few people on my way to class. It slipped my mind. So I didn't do that. And somehow along my route during my day, it fell out of my bag. Or it must have, presumably. So then a few days later, I get a Facebook message from one of my TAs. Yes, a Facebook message from one of my TAs. I'm friends with them on Facebook. You may think that's a little weird, but... Fuck it, I don't care. Um, and he said he found it. And he's like, what do you want me to do with it? And I said, could you send it a rue way? And he said, sure, man. No problem. Kick ass. So see, it was to my benefit to be Facebook friends with my TA. Um, but that's beside the point. So I hear this show's been quite popular. Uh, on the web, all the kids have been eating it up like hotcakes. Like gangbusters, it's working like. Um, so I guess I feel obliged to give you a third episode. Um, but you know what? Uh, I'm not really coming up with anything. Not that I really ever do come up with anything. It's just kind of me sitting around here, um, not working on my Comarch 374. Um, and that's probably the reason you can thank for these programs. These fine programs are sponsored in part by the UW University itself. Um, and it's, it's course material in that I just don't want to do it. So I sit around here and I'm like, well, instead of acting all weird like I usually am, why don't I put it on TV and, or the web and have people look at it and get a little ha-ha off it. Um, which brings us to the song of the day, which um, I'm not really sure what the song of the day is yet, but when uh, I find out... I think I might let you know, because that's probably important. Uh, you've heard a few songs today already, um, but there'll be more. Um. And 
what I am to you is not real And what I am to you, you do not need What I am to you, you do not need And me, you give me miles and miles of mountains When I ask for it Another point I'd like to bring up with you fine viewers of this program is uh, I'm thinking about taking the show on the road. That is uh, going around here in Madison where I live, you know, taking some video clips of things I kind of do when I'm not sitting here procrastinating. Um, and I'm thinking that might add a versatility to this program that's been unprecedented. And um, I definitely know some of you would love to be a, a part of this great program. Um, so if you, if you would like to be a part of this program, or if you see a certain aspect of Madison that you would like me to maybe do a spot at, um, shoot me an email, check out my website, drop me a line, do something, you know, throw a rock at my window with a note attached to it, maybe n not a big rock, but maybe a small rock, um, and, you know, we can work something out, um, but I think that probably wraps it up. I've taken enough of your time. I've wasted enough of my own time for this week or whenever this next program is. Um, but uh, I look forward to hearing from you. And with that, we're going to go out with a little music I like to call Crazy Frog Remix. Slow computer delay. Bum 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 b